I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Saturday morning, the 21st of September, 2024. And this is your friend, Angus Bucket, with a thought for the day. We go to the second book of Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 5. Bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. We need to watch out for what we are thinking. You know, we talk a lot about the heart, and that's wonderful. But what about the mind? We really need to pay attention. My wife, Jill, sent me a little saying, which I thought was so special. It goes like this. The thoughts that we water every day become the garden that we live in. We need to take every single thought captive to the Lordship of Jesus. Now, when you look around you, what do you see? You see violence. I know a lot of young people love gaming, but a lot of those games are violent. And then you see young children, maybe not even 20 years old, trying to assassinate the former president of the United States of America. Something wrong with the mind. There is sex, pornography, folks. Pornography is a serious thing, not just among men, among women as well. And your mind eventually becomes like a a cesspool if you don't deal with it immediately. Things like hatred, envy, racialism, blatant rebellion against everything. These are things, these are seeds that the devil puts into our minds. And if we water them, we have to live in that garden full of thistles and weeds and rocks and absolute death itself. We need to concentrate on good and pure things. We need to concentrate on the things of our precious Lord Jesus. We need to look at films that are heroic with heroes in them. We need to spend time reading godly books. We need to read about success stories, people that started from nothing. People that looked at the Lord Jesus Christ and then reconstructed their lives through what they thought. Be very, very careful. You know, when I go into somebody's house and I have a look at their library, if they've got one, straight away it tells me all about them. I have one look at the books that they are reading or maybe the DVDs that they've got on a shelf, the magazines that they are reading. We really need to guard our minds very, very carefully. And that is what the Lord is saying, bringing every idle thought into captivity so that it cannot run wild and cause us to do things that we would never normally do. And the way to do that is to spend lots of time reading the Bible, praying, listening to Christian music, spending time in the presence of God. Jesus bless you and have a good day. Goodbye.